BIPV Incorporated is proud to introduce you to the Sun Energy Shingle, a solar electric system designed for easy installation, durability, low profile elegance, and high energy output. These solar electric roof shingles offer an alternative to the traditional modules and mounting systems that compromise architectural design. Sun Energy Shingle systems integrate beautifully with composition shingles. They are suitable in new construction, installed over an existing composition shingle roof, or in a retrofit when the existing roofing is removed. Installation requires many of the same skills already used by experienced contractors. This video will show the basic steps involved for a safe and effective installation, including an overview of system design and layout, how to install and connect the shingles in series strings, how to install all flashing and prepare the system for the trained professional who will finish the wiring and electrical connections. This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the written installation manual that details important warnings and safety precautions. It's important that a trained professional prepare the layout and system design. The layout should show the physical location of the solar shingles on the roof and take into account all chimneys and vents, as well as any objects around the building that may cast a shadow onto the solar array. It's the installer's responsibility to make sure that the details in the layout correspond to the actual conditions on site. The system design will also include a string diagram showing the installer how shingles can be combined in series strings. Each string is a separate circuit with two home run wires, a positive and a negative, that will be placed through the roof penetration hole, which is also shown on the diagram. The last element of the design is called the balance of systems, which deals with the choice of inverter and how the system will be connected to the power grid. This information is provided for the electrical professional who will do the finish wiring and is beyond the scope of this video. Now let's focus on the rooftop installation that will be done by a qualified licensed contractor. The underlayment for the solar electric system is important and will vary depending on the type of installation. Sun Energy shingles have a Class A fire rating when installed in accordance with the installation manual in new construction or in retrofit application. In each of these applications, you will need two layers of 30-pound felt and two layers of Elk Versa Shield to maintain the Class A fire rating. This underlayment is only necessary on the section of the roof where the solar shingles will be installed. If you will be installing over an existing roof, it is important that the modules be installed on composition shingles that are in good condition. A roofing professional should be consulted when installing over older roofing material or roofing material that appears damaged. The first step in the installation is to attach the starter vent. Using the layout plan, take measurements to determine the exact location of the bottom right corner of the system. These first measurements are crucial as mistakes at this point could result in a lot of unnecessary labor. Make a mark showing where the right corner of the first shingle will be placed. From that mark, measure one quarter inch up and one quarter inch to the left. This is where the right edge of the first metal starter vent will be placed. In the first course, each Sun Energy shingle will attach to a starter vent which provides for cooling airflow under the system. The starter vents are screwed to the roof, butting against each other and running parallel to the asphalt shingles. At the end of the course, attach the one inch starter vent filler to complete the starter vent. Now you are ready to install the first solar shingle on the right hand side of the system. All courses should be installed from right to left. Simply slide the solar shingle down until the wind clips on the back of the frame engage with the lip on the starter vent. Then line it up with the previously marked corner. Attach the panel to the roof with two inch number eight screws. Be careful not to use too much torque when screwing them down as this could damage the frame. The right side flashing can now be attached. It fits under the edge of the solar shingle and is screwed to the roof using only the bottom hole. The top hole will line up with the flashing for the next course. Eventually, all of the flashing will be covered with asphalt shingles. Now, using the same method, install the remaining shingles in the first course. The edges should be overlapped with approximately a 1 32nd inch gap to allow for expansion in hot weather conditions. 
Remember, sun energy shingles generate electricity when exposed to light and can cause electrical shock or burn. They do not have an on-off switch. Do not touch live terminals with bare hands or any conductive material. It's also important never to make or break a connection when the system is under a load or connected to an operating inverter. Wiring shingles together in strings is simple using the provided male, female, positive and negative quick connectors. It's extremely important that the connectors are completely engaged, tight and secure. If not, the system will not function properly. Typically, a string of shingles will be divided between two or three courses. When this happens, it is necessary to reverse the orientation of the output cables on the next course to complete the connections. Just remove the cables from the cable tracks on the shingle and switch them. If the shingle is already installed, you can cross the cables at the point where they emerge from the frame, but it is best to switch the cables before installation, removing them from the slots on the frame and making the crossover at the back of the shingle and then putting the cables back into the slots. When continuing a string to the course above, the cables need to run under the frame in the provided spaces, making sure that no cables are pinched between the frame and the roof. Pinched cables may result in a safety hazard and a decrease of system performance. A wire guide template is available to assist you with proper wire placement. When a course is completed, the left hand flashing can be put into place over the edge of the solar shingle. Then line it up with the bottom edge of the shingle and attach it to the roof using only the bottom hole. The top hole will be used when the flashing for the second course is installed. Before starting the second course, make sure that a home run cable is attached to the open connector on the very first shingle that you installed. This is very important because this cable will run under each course of solar shingles above it on a path to the roof penetration point. Make sure that you use enough cable to reach the termination point under the roof where the electrical professional will do the wiring. Now continue to install shingles from right to left until you have completed the first string. When connecting wires on a multi-core string, it is best to follow an S pattern, moving up the roof from one side to the other. When a string is completed, you need to do a voltage test to ensure that all the shingles are electrically connected. First, measure the voltage output of one shingle. This can vary depending on the time of day, air temperature, and cloud cover. Typically, the output will be around 8 volts. If the string is made up of 30 shingles, then the reading for the full string should be approximately 240 volts. To test the full string, put one of the meter's leads into the end of the home run cable attached to the first shingle in the string. The other lead is put into the open connector on the final shingle, so the voltage for the entire string can be successfully measured. If the measurement is approximately 1-2% to of the calculated total, the home run cable can be plugged into the open lead on the final shingle in the string and the circuit is complete. Find the midpoint in the home run cable and make a loop. Tape the cables together and label them with the string number. This is where the cable will eventually be cut by the professional who will do the finished wiring. Again, make sure there's enough cable to reach the termination point under the roof where the final wiring will be done. Sun Energy shingles have a snow load rating of 250 pounds per square foot and they can be walked on once properly installed. However, extreme care must be taken. The surface of the shingle can be slippery, especially when wet. Only trained roofing personnel with the appropriate safety gear should walk on the modules. Now you will repeat the installation steps for each new string. Attach the shingles to complete each course. Connect the shingles in strings. Attach the home run cable. Test the voltage output for each completed string. Label the cables for finished wiring. It's also a good idea to place a removable mark on the first shingle in a new string. This will give you a visual reference that will help eliminate confusion as you proceed up the roof. Once you've completed the final course, you are ready to drill the roof penetration hole through which all home run cables will be inserted. The hole should be drilled near the top of the final course so that it can be covered with the top vent. 
We recommend the hole be lined with underlayment to avoid chafing the home run cables. Once all wires are inserted, the hole should be filled with fire stopping foam or silicone. Now it's time to complete the array installation. The area above the top row, including the penetration hole, will be covered with the Sun Energy Top Vent, which is secured to the roof using four Sun Energy Top Vent retainer clips. The clips are placed under the screws that secure the shingle to the roof deck. The top vent is then slid under the clips, screwed to the roof, and eventually covered with composition shingles. To finalize the job, it is important that you review the entire system to determine if additional sealant or flashing is required. Congratulations! The system is now complete on the rooftop and ready for the professional who will finish wiring the balance of systems, enabling your client to enjoy the benefits of clean, safe, and free solar electricity. BIPV Incorporated stands ready to assist you in building your installation skills, expanding your business, and satisfying your customers with this exciting new product.